Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So this came in as a special request um, for a school end of year kind of uh, craft. And so they wanted to do a silhouette. So I took a side profile picture of my daughter against a white background and I emailed it to myself. So I'm gonna download the picture. So here's the picture, you can see that. I'm gonna go into design space and let's do a new project. Now I've done this before, I've done it in vinyl to put on a Christmas ornament. So I think that's a lot a fun idea as well, but this one's gonna be paper. So let's go and try to clean up that image and see. So we're gonna go to upload, upload image, browse, and we need to find our silhouette. And of course it's a download. So let me go to my downloads. Oops, here we go and double click on it. So this is the file. Um, I always choose complex and then continue. So here we wanna erase the background. So you see, I'm just clicking on the brown. Don't worry about this. We can clean this up. We can easily slice this off and do it at the neck. But for now, what we want is we just want a clean, um, yeah, we wanna make sure that there's space in between her hair. And, oh, let me undo that. Hold on. Okay. And we'll clean this up as well. So try to get as much as you can here. And then um, we can click the erase button over here and make our ball, like our, our little circle small, right? And we can just kind of, in this one, I would just clean that up. I'm gonna lose her little baby hair. I'm not gonna be worried about it. Oops, let me undo that, I did too much. Um, and here you can zoom in, We should. I should have done that. Um, you know what, let's take out this, the light switch as well. Oh, um, we can crop that. Let's crop that. And let's just get this. Okay, now we can zoom in and really clean up a little bit. Let's click on this and click on the, clean this up a little bit better. I didn't realize it was so bad. <clears throat> but when you zoom in, you can really see, so that's good. Yeah, let's get all this. All right, so I think that's pretty good. Let's get our circle now and kind of clean up a little bit more. Her hair is kind of crazy today. Uh, we're just cleaning up this image here. And we can go back and click on the eraser or the, um, like the magic one where we just click on the colors and we can clean it up some more. So let's go back and click on this. And I'm just gonna clean up a little bit in here. Okay, so let's just say you're happy with that. We'll click on continue. And you can see her image here. This is what happened. The mouth isn't so good. These little bits are gonna be easy to clean up. So this is the one we want because we actually want the silhouette. So let's click on that and go to upload. Oh, I should have changed the name, but let's click on this for now. Let's just work on the file. So you want, like I said, you want a really good picture. Um, 
against the background that's easy to filter out. So first thing is we can just click on contour. And what's nice about contour is we can really just, um, I would click hide all and it should get rid of all of our little parts in here. And let's see, we want that. Okay. Okay, so it took out everything. Um, I don't know what that bump is. If we don't like, and then uh, bring in a square so that we can cut off evenly right here. Let's say you only want that much. You're gonna slice, so we're slicing two things at one time, the square and the silhouette. So that cleaned it up a bit, right? So we can get rid of this. Um, we can make this bigger and see. So I'm not sure what happened here. <laughs> this was not the best, the best picture today. I took it, um, so we can clean up. This must have been like, I don't know if it's her shirt tag or something, but you can get rid of it by doing something like this. And then grabbing these two items and slicing. Now what's funny is sometimes when I clean up in on my phone, I get a better a better image. So I'm let me do it really quickly on my phone and actually, you know what? I can um I can show you my screen. So give me just one second to bring up Cricut. Okay. Let me switch the screen. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it that well, but we'll try it, okay. So here's my thing. I'm going to go to upload. And I'm going to do the same file. So hopefully this is the right one. Okay. And same thing. I'm going to click on remove. And actually, you know, I'm going to crop first because I'm going to get out most of this. So let me crop. Okay, so I've cropped and I'm gonna remove. So now I'm gonna click on all the, the outer parts. Oh, that was easy. And then I'm gonna use the erase and I'm gonna get rid of some areas up here. So same thing happened on here, my light bulb or my light switch. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in so I can see a little bit better. Um, Okay, so it got a lot of her hair. So I'm going to do the erase. Ooh, that's too big. Let me undo that. I need my circle to be much smaller. Oh, I see that little thing. It's her hair, her baby hair. Okay. So I cleaned it up a bit there. I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna remove. Let's see if I'll remove that. Okay, so I'm gonna take my erase I'm gonna go back to remove and I'm gonna try to get a better outline <clears throat> getting rid of like the whites right there Uh, 
Okay, so I'm gonna bring this image in. I'm gonna click on next. And yeah, it didn't give me that funky thing around her eyes, but she, this is just not a very good pro portrait picture because a lot of times, like you could see their outlines of the lip and their eyelash. So this one looks very similar to that one. Um, so I'm gonna leave it there, but hopefully this gives you an idea of how to do it. And let me know if you have any questions. All right, I will see you guys next time. Bye.